guys, so today I have a few things to show you from the Etsy store Mythical Studios. Now I've been following Mythical Studios on Instagram for a while, I've been loving the different things that they've been making. I actually discovered them through Etsy originally where they did a pickle rick pin. So after talking to the owners of the shop, they very kindly sent me a little package full of goodies which I thought I would open with you today. So everything came in this bubble wrapped envelope, I did open it just to check that it was what I thought it was and it was um so it came in a really nice envelope it also came first class and also signed for it was amazing it meant that these got here super super quickly and also they were nice and safe just because I've been having a few tiny troubles with um the Royal Mail recently definitely do appreciate when companies do send things signed for so first up in here is a sheet of paper and this has actually been pulled from a book which I really like I like the fact that they have kind of recycled it definitely it gives this letter a lot of personality. So first off in it they thank us for this lovely spooky channel and then they say we are a studio who loves everything spooky and mystical. So as you will hopefully see by what I show you today you will kind of get those spooky vibes which I'm sure we all are needing. And then it says we hope you enjoy some of our new products, Mythical Studios. Now when I'm actually looking at the kind of paper that this is written on it does say spinal disease and also hip disease so I'm thinking that possibly this was pulled out of an old med medical book. Actually at the top it says diseases of children, the family physician, which is very interesting. It definitely gives it that kind of like horror feel to the whole thing and I, and I really like that and I will be keeping it up on my pin board with the rest of my letters. And then next up in here is this and I love this. I love decoupaging. In fact, just yesterday I decoupaged a Egyptian mask for one of my uni projects. So I am definitely in the decoupage mood and actually strangely enough I did buy like a polystyrene snowman the other day because I'm going to decoupage it and make it into a pumpkin snowman and find a tiny little basket to go on its head. So it was really kind of them to add this in. It does say that it's not one of their products and it is just an added gift but I am pretty sure you can get this paper from Hobbycraft. I absolutely love crafting and decoupage paper is really nice because you can use it like not only to actually decoupage but also for paper crafts. Anyone who hasn't actually used decoupage paper before it is very kind of thin paper um it's almost like a tissue paper is the way i describe it but when you kind of add glue to it it means it will really easily and nicely kind of line a shape so the first one is orange with these little stars and moons on and hopefully you can see kind of how like thin this paper is it means it's just so so perfect for crafting and then the other print which is my favorite is this one and it's black with lots of little orange motifs on it. There's little witches hats and little cobwebs and broomsticks and stars and moons and it's just amazingly spooky. Although you can't actually get this from Mythical Studios, it just was an added gift, you can get them from the Hobbycraft website and I know at the moment they do have a few various designs kind of left over for Halloween so if you are interested in doing some crafty decoupage go over there. So next up in here is their business card which is really nice, I love the style of it. It's this kind of like brownie, almost like aged colour at the top which I really love in this banner it says where magic and creation come alive which I think is a really nice little thing. I just generally really love the style of it. And on the back it does say that they can make anything that your heart desires and then it has a direct link to the Etsy store. This is a really nice quality business card and I'm very excited to put this up on my business card pin board. I think it will definitely stand out as well just because of like the colour and the look of it. So then there is a little piece of paper in here which says extra information and it does have the information for their Facebook, their Instagram and also their Twitter and as always I will leave everything that you need down in the description below. I can definitely vouch for the fact that their Instagram is a really nice one to follow. They are very active on there and they are continuously posting pictures of all their new products and the new things that they're making so it's really really exciting. So everything that has left in here seems to be pins and button badges so along with me today <laughs> I have bought one of my button badge jackets which I'm currently 
filling up so i'm hoping that i'll have some things to add on to this one it did used to have a lot more in it but i did take them off just because i do have multiple jackets and i kind of like to share it out so this one's looking a tiny bit bare so i'm really hoping i can add some more to this one and then of course i'm sure you guys know exactly what i'm about to show you but i've got my pin jacket with me as well this one is filling up nicely it is kind of maybe a little bit overloaded with mr kim luna and spooky box club pins so i'm excited to hopefully get a few more onto here so as for the rest of this i'm just gonna go lucky dip so the first thing i pulled out is this and it's a little button badge <laughs> and this is amazing I i've seen it like written on t-shirts on hats and i'm so excited that it's now in like badge form so it's a little kind of black and blue pin on the background it does actually look like there's almost like a haunted forest scene and then it says which please on there and there is like a proper button badge these things are handmade and i wasn't sure kind of what the quality would be like but i have to honestly say they're really really nicely made it does feel nice and sturdy and high quality and it's all very like neatly finished off as you can see it is a good size like button badge as well i'd say it's probably around the average size and the writing is definitely like large enough so you can see it which one of my pet hates is where you get really funny pins like this one and the writing is so small that you can't really see it um so i'm glad that the writing is nice and big put this aside and then i'm going to put all of them on at the end because then i can work out positioning etc so next up in here is this one and it is a <laughs> it is another button badge but this one is a bit more of like a jokey one so really strangely i was actually looking at buying a halloween card with this written on it but i'm really excited to now have this as a pin just because i can wear it rather than just have it stuck on my walls so i really love this one it is very simplistic but it definitely kind of adds to sort of the joke so just in case you don't get it it does say i found this humorous and this is the humorous bone so it is a pun sort of playing on the name of the bone but i'm sure you guys have already figured that out again this seems like a really nice quality it is the same size as the witch please one and it has the same clasp on there as well and i do like the fact that the clasp is round the right way so it does so the pin does go across that way and the writing it goes across that way as well so i am very pleased with those two button badges i'm going to see if i can fill around for a pin because i did see at least one pin in here somewhere <laughs> so this is the pin which actually made me find the company in the first place this is the pickle rick pin this is from the show rick and morty i'm not sure how many of you watch it so this is one of the main characters rick he isn't usually a pickle but this is kind of him morphed into a pickle as for the pin itself it's a super nice quality i love the fact that it has two little pin backs to it just means that it's going to stay nice and like secure on there especially as this is like slightly a large a pin as well it just means that it's not gonna be moving around and things so it's definitely gonna stay in place and it also means you could have it sort of whichever way up you want rather than limiting yourself just to having it vertical so there is loads and loads of detail within this pin i'm so like enthralled with like the amount of detail that's like around his teeth and his mouth and also like within the pickle itself it definitely kind of portrays the character really nicely and the pin itself is such a nice quality as you can see it's quite thick and and it just has a very kind of overall nice professional finish to it this is an enamel pin so it is kind of metal and then the color has been filled in with enamel so i am super pleased with this and i feel like i'm going to end up fighting my boyfriend over who gets to keep it and i think you'll find that i will win so next up in this envelope of wonders is another button badge and this is a black one and it says aliens believe in us <laughs> which i really like i think i actually have a pin somewhere that says i believe in aliens so this will go very very nicely next to that one again it's the same size as the other ones it is that same nice quality everything is nicely lined up which i'm very pleased about and it is a very simplistic design but i think it looks really really effective the background is just a plain black and then they've added little white stars and also a ufo and a planet and then it has the writing down the middle and for some reason it's kind of giving me stranger things vibes although i know it's not stranger things at all but i'm very excited to add this to my pin jacket especially with my other alien pin okay so next up there's still quite a lot of stuff in here is another pin badge and this one is another rick and morty one 
This is a Mr. Meeseeks pin and again it's the same size as the other ones. This also has that very professional finish. As you can see the picture is really really nice and clear in there. It's very detailed. I love that the face kind of takes up the whole thing. I feel like this is going to look really really effective on my jacket and I'm pretty sure they did another version of this one so I'm wondering whether or not that is also going to be in here. Maybe I'll take a sneaky look. Oh, yes. So they do have the other version as well. These would look so good if you maybe had like one of these either side of your collar or even just like connect to each other so that they could be friends. So I did actually spy like some other pins when I was looking in here. So I think this may be another pin by the feel of it. And from the screen, it looks white. Oh, so I did actually see this one on their Instagram page. It is a little enamel pin of the portal gun and again this is another kind of Rick and Morty piece as you can see there is a slight theme going on here. So again this is a super super nice quality pin. The design is really really nice and clear and effective and I love the fact that they were able to make the green parts of it actually kind of like glittery which it gives it a super nice effect and even if you look in this part at the top you can see they've used different shades of green which I really appreciate. I love kind of like the attention attention to detail that they've put into that. Again, this pin is a really nice thickness. It's a metal kind of enamel pin. So it is a super, super nice quality and it has a clasp on the back. The clasp itself does feel nice and sturdy. Definitely clips on there really, really nicely. So I'm super, super excited to put this onto my pin jacket. So next up in here, if I can put my hand in there, is another pin. And this one, I can feel two backs on it. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. I'm pretty sure I saw their kind of like, not prototype, but like original sketches for this. And I haven't actually seen them post it on their Instagram, so maybe I missed that post. But wait for it, guys. I'm too excited to actually get it out of the packet. <laughs> this is an it pin and Oh my goodness, I only sort of watched the film a couple of weeks ago. I was a little bit like late to the party. Um, but when I watched it, I absolutely loved it. And since then I have been obsessed. I have majorly been scouring the internet for various different kind of it merchandise, it themed things. Um, so I'm really excited to have a pin and this is gonna have to go like pride of pace. I may actually have to put this pride of place on my handbag just because I need to take it everywhere I go with me. So it's a little balloon pin. Now the actual like outside pit and the writing as well is silver. The writing says you'll float too which is of course from the movie. If any of you are kind of horror fans although it wasn't even too gory it was slightly like a comedy as well. Um, it's definitely definitely worth a watch. Like the red balloon does feature quite thoroughly throughout it. It does have clowns in the film though so if you're not a fan of clowns, maybe it won't be your cup of tea. The red balloon is kind of a big sort of significant symbol, I guess, for the film. So I'm so pleased that they chose the balloon. And also I'd much prefer to get a balloon pin than a clown one, not gonna lie. Um, so again, it's a really, really nice quality pin. It's nice and thick. I'm loving the fact that it has the two clasps on there to keep it nice and safe. And it just looks so, so professional. The writing is slightly raised and they do actually have white details at the bottom for the string of the balloon as well. I did want to add as well that I have got pins before that haven't been like fully finished off. And some parts have been kind of sharp and kind of scratchy but even the little kind of bit of string that which is kind of going down into a point isn't like too pointy like obviously it's very thin and detailed but they've gone to the effort of making sure that it's rounded off so it's not sharp. So that is again a lovely little kind of attention to detail thing that they've done to make these like even better products. But there can't be that much more in here. I can feel another pin badge. Oh my goodness. This is another Pickle Rick themed thing, although this time it is in a button badge form rather than in the pin form. It has this kind of like spacey scene in the background. Then it has Pickle Rick and it says, I'm Pickle Rick. And as you can see, it is the same image which they then translated into a pin. So these will go so nicely together. And now I have one for me and one for my boyfriend so we won't have to fight and argue for the whole weekend. So next up in here is, I can see that it's orange. 
Oh my god, I love it. It is a pumpkin queen pin. Yes, that is me. I will take that title. Thank you very much. So I absolutely love this. It is, again, in the circular style, but they've kind of used the pumpkin, so it looks like the pumpkin's in the background, and they've kind of used shading and things to give it all the depth that a pumpkin has of the ridges. Um, and then in, like, some really spooky, like, Halloween writing, it says pumpkin queen across the front. I love how, like, large the writing is. It definitely shows up really nicely, and I feel like it will go super nice with the witch please pin because the writing to me looks very very similar if not the same I have to say this is probably my favorite button badge that we've got so far so next up in here is another button badge and I can see the YouTube logo on it I think I got it upside down oh and it says 1000 subscribers button this is a nice and simplistic pin it has like the nice writing at the bottom and I feel like this will be like the perfect gift or if you have a friend who possibly does YouTube or things and you want to get them like a little kind of well done gift etc sort of thing so us spooky crew have definitely earned this i think that we are up to 3000 now which is really really exciting so thank you very much for my little 1000 subscriber award and next up is a, another button badge and oh this one is of morty it is again really really nicely detailed so this is the other kind of main character to rick and morty so this is morty and we met rick in pickle form again i have a great little pin badge to add with my little rick and morty collection of pin badges as always it is very nicely and professionally finished off as well i'm very very pleased with the quality of these and next up i can definitely tell you it is going down slowly um there is another pin badge and again it's another rick and morty one i'm literally going to potentially have to get a whole new jacket just for rick and morty pins now <laughs> oh no i'm going to have to buy another jacket what a shame so this is a team beth pin which is morty's mum should think potentially the other pin which i felt in here may be a team jerry one Yes, so then they have a Team Jerry one as well. These go super nicely together. So I think these are all the button badges. Let me feel around. No, there's one more. So this is the same as the 1000 subscriber pin, but this one says 100 and this one says 1000. Thank you again for this little 100 subscribers award. While we're on the subject of this as well, I will be doing a giveaway soon because I meant to do a giveaway when we got to 3000, then I meant to do a giveaway on Instagram when I got to 2000, but frankly I've just been so busy with Halloween, I forgot. So that will be soon, I promise. Anyway back to the package there seems to be two more pins in here so i'm going to take out this one first oh wow this is gorgeous i have a patch actually that will go so nicely with this so maybe it will make me get my finger out and actually like sew the patch on so i can put this pin with it but it is a death head moth pin it is kind of like silver and white i don't think i have any silver and white pins i think i've got one black and white one from miss kim luna so i'm very excited to have another kind of variation of pin it's a really nice and intricate design you have your death head moth which is so so detailed it has a little kind of crescent moon at the top and this at the bottom which almost looks like a crystal i think it's a super super pretty design again it's made in the same sort of format as the other ones the same sort of thickness as well um with the two little clasps on the back it seems like a really nice quality and I am so so excited to find somewhere on my jacket to put this and then what I think is the last pin is I'm going to show you first this one upside down it looks like a little jar of eyes again i think i did actually see a sketch of this when they were first doing it i do find it very difficult when i see sketches and things to kind of like put them into like real life if that makes sense like i can see a sketch and really like it but i can't quite like work out how it translates into a pin but seeing this as a pin it looks amazing so it is a little jar of eyes there's lots of kind of details of the jar it says sale on the side and it has a dollar sign i want to say is that a dollar sign someone let me know um and then inside it's got various different eyeballs you've got a big green eye because of course green eyes are my favorite you've got orange halloween eyes red eyes and blue eyes um and it's a really really nice pin again it's nice and thick with two clasps as well so it's going to stay on there really nicely and this is slightly larger than the usual pin as well so it's going to stand out really really nicely and that is everything which was in here and i'm now kind of sat in this sort of pool of 
pin badges. Like I said, all of these are from the company Mythical Studios, and as always, I will leave all the links that you need down below. I definitely say, like, quality-wise, these are all a really, really high quality, especially for the kind of prices which these are. Everything came really nicely packaged. All of the pin badges, I don't know if you saw, were in little um, plastic bags just to stop them scratching together, which means they've stayed like nice and shiny and new looking. The customer service is literally second to none. They're very quick to reply to any messages and queries, and just generally they're really nice people to talk to. I have to say their shipping speeds are very, very quick. Now, obviously, this was a large order, and another friend of mine did actually order some of these pickle rick things for himself, and he ordered it on a Wednesday and it was at his house on the Thursday so as you can see their service is really astonishingly astonishing astonishing astonishingly got there in the end quick <laughs> thank you so much to mythical studios they do actually sell other things not just pins i have seen a few different prints and drawings and things which they do on their etsy store so it's definitely worth checking out even if you're not the biggest fan of pins and badges although why wouldn't you love pins and badges? Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go now and disperse these across all of my clothing garments and my bags. So thank you for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please do leave them down below. If it's anywhere you are, I hope you enjoy the shade and I'll see you next time. Bye!